These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, I'm Kaylee O'Kelly with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. We do begin with an update on the George Kelly trial. It is what it is and it will be what it will be. Let me go home, okay? There are y'all. It is what it is and it will be what it will, we will be. I will keep fighting for everyone. After two days of deliberating, the jury has failed to reach a verdict in the murder trial of George Kelly. The rancher is accused of killing a Mexican national last year when he crossed onto his property. The jury struggled to reach a verdict on second degree murder charges, and now it will be up to the Santa Cruz County attorney to decide if there will be a new trial. Your favorite grocery store could be up for sale Monday. Kroger and Albertsons announcing the sale of more stores, including some here in our state. The step taken to help manage federal government's concerns about their proposed merger. More than 550 stores will be up for sale. We don't have to travel for, far to find a nature oasis. Our Zach Perry is sharing a different view of the Desert Botanical Gardens just in time for a unique celebration. Celebrating 85 years in the valley, the Desert Botanical Garden is a sanctuary to some of the most breathtaking plant life in Arizona, especially during the spring, when most plants are blooming with electrifying color. Our 85th anniversary is an amazing milestone, and I love talking about the history of the garden, which we were founded in 1939, opened our gates then. It looked a lot different here. <laughs> than it does now. Spring is a fantastic time here in the desert and at the Desert Botanical Garden. It's the yellow time in the desert. But we also have cactus that are blooming and we have wildflowers with so many different colors of purple and blue and pinks. The Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix is home to thousands of species of cactus, trees and flowers from all over the world. Spanning across 55 acres, of nature oasis. There are many, many, many different forms of cactus and they range from anything like the iconic saguaro cactus to tiny little what we call hedgehog cactus and everything in between. Our plants and people of the Sonoran Desert Trail, which is all about how people have been able to live here in the desert using the plants of the desert. When people visit the botanical garden, many are often looking for an escape. It's a place to enjoy beauty, to find some respite from the hubbub of the city, find a quiet little niche and sit by yourself, watch nature as it unfolds in front of you. And with the bloom of desert plants comes the wildlife. If you're a birder, this is a fantastic time to get out. It's not just the plants, although they're the stars, but there's all of the wildlife that these plants support. After 85 years, the Desert Botanical Garden is still going strong. 85 for us is just an amazing thing, and we really are celebrating it. Reporting in Phoenix, Zach Perry, ABC 15 Arizona. Thank you, Zach. Well, summer is fast approaching, right? We're learning how busy summertime travel will get. A survey by Vacation finds nearly 82% of Americans plan to travel this summer. Another takeaway, the most popular method of travel, a road trip. With more than 75% of Americans planning to do something that's road tripping related this year. Meantime, financial stress might be an unwanted souvenir from this year's summer vacation for a lot of people. A new bank rate survey says more than 40% of younger travelers, Gen Z and millennials, are willing to take on debt to travel this summer. And just over half of those surveyed plan to take a summer vacation. Who uh, Those who are not say overwhelmingly that they just simply cannot afford a summertime getaway. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Temperatures backing away from the triple digits. Still pretty warm though, so don't let your guard down when it comes to heat safety. Highs will reach the mid to upper 90s in central and western Arizona. Northern Arizona in the upper 60s today with a high of 81 today in Sedona and some 70s from Prescott to Payson. Breezes start to pick up today and then we'll see breezy conditions every afternoon and evening, essentially through the end of the week. Where our strongest winds likely coming on Thursday. Gusts here in the valley will range anywhere from about 20 to 25 miles an hour most 
Thursdays to 35 miles an hour by Thursday. And in the high country, stronger winds too, gusting as high as 30 to 40 miles an hour through the week. Temperatures will eventually come down as storm system number one moves in on Thursday. We'll see a chance for showers and thunderstorms in northern Arizona. And temperatures fall into the mid-80s here in the valley as we stay dry. By late Friday night to Saturday, a stray shower is possible in Phoenix with cooler air sticking around thanks to another storm system. And then we dry out and warm back up going into next week. And for the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download our free ABC 15 mobile app. Make it a great day. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Row Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.